Hello and welcome back to MC Eternal episode 3 where in this episode well in the last episode pretty much if you haven't seen it yet it is basically a stream uh, edited down uh, where we went out exploring and did some pretty cool stuff so if you haven't watched that yet be sure to do so but anyways in this episode we are back home and uh, we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna do some stuff and a lot of stuff is on screen and also a lot of stuff is also down in my notes over here. So let's get right to it, shall we? So first off, if you didn't watch the last episode, uh, can I please get it to like daytime or something? Thank you. Um, so very first off, as you can see, we went quite far out. We found a cool village down here, unfortunately. Um, a dragon is nearby, so hopefully we will be able to save this village eventually. Um, I, I left pretty quickly, and then we went all the way over here. And then we stumbled upon this, which is apparently a nuclear wasteland. Um, pretty sure, yep, it says it right down here, a uh, nuclear was wasteland. And I believe ever since I have had weakness and mining fatigue and I'm gonna have to look into that. I do have a theory or I do have a hint um, from the MC Eternal Discord server. So someone said something about, um, yeah, something nuclear. So I don't remember what it was. I'll have to look at it. Um, but then we moved up here, up here, and then we found this very cool place. You can see it in that last episode if you have not watched it, but this place is extremely cool. This biome is very pretty and this area is very flat. We got a huge oil um, area over here, plus it seems like some more oil over here. And I think this place fits perfectly for our base hopefully. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to do some more planning and stuff like that and hopefully we'll be able to um, yeah, to really settle in. Not gonna lie, I like this area though, with like this house and such. But we have to move on. I think that place is really going to be very, um, very cool. Also in that stream, something that you did not see in um, in that video was that we actually explored some of the dungeon down here and we got some pretty cool stuff. Like we, we got a diamond pickaxe, efficiency four, soulbound three and mending. Like that's so, Cool, that's really big because I can do a lot of mining with that um, without it breaking because of the mending. So that is really, really cool. Now another thing that we did was setting up this backpack right here, which is basically right here from improved backpacks. And I have given it a few upgrades, um, these upgrades um, specifically. So wood upgrade, stone upgrade, iron upgrade, and I'm currently going to make the golden upgrade. Can I make the diamond upgrade? Do we have the diamonds for that? Nope, I have no diamonds. I have zero diamonds. All right, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Gold is as far as I could go. Um, but yeah, this is very useful for like mining and going to adventures and stuff like that. So I'm going to take all of this out and I'm going to, uh, well, upgrade this thing. It is currently a tier three. It's going to become a tier four in a bit. Um, to make these upgrades, blank upgrade, you basically need sticks. Uh, plank and then tanned leather, which is basically bound leather cooked up um, and tanned leather is made from two string and leather. So that is pretty cool. Excuse me. Uh, so that is pretty cool. Now we're going to make this storage upgrade like so. And we are just going to combine these and it's going to be a tier four. And the next upgrade is diamond. Unfortunately, um, we do not have any diamonds. So yeah. But this is pretty big and I'm pretty happy with that. It's going to hold some stuff and also, um, yeah, the satchel actually is right here. I got some stuff in here and we made the Tome of Knowledge, which can basically store all my XP and I can take XP from it, but I can also uh, get XP into it. So that is really cool. Um, also, uh, this baguette from actually additions is like, it's, it's like really cool. Like it gives you three um, meat thingy things and it just takes like two wheat. Speaking of wheat, let us go ahead and let us, uh, well, the farm has grown, as you can see. <laughs> so we're gonna harvest the farm here, get some beans and get, uh, whatever else we actually have here. What did we plant here? I know we planted immersive engineering, um, industrial herbs, I believe it was. Industrial herb seeds, yes. We're gonna put those because that can be turned into string. And then of course the wheat. 
which for me is very valuable because we can turn the wheat into dough and we can uh, cook the dough and get baguettes and those are pretty cool. So I'm just gonna smack those in there and the beans can be used to make, wait, did I not harvest, did I not? Hold on, I forgot, I forgot one. <laughs> I forgot these, uh, spice leaves, which with these, um, I combine the spice leaves, salt and beans pretty much and this bakeware and I make what was it veggie strips right here veggie strips and yeah they're, they're an okay food source as well actually so I'm gonna make a bunch of those as well uh, gotta have a lot of food right so I'm just gonna do that and boom oh we're actually out of that okay <laughs> we're out of the um, the what was it called again? Uh, what am I? What am I doing? Hold on. Okay, put this. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, we made monster jerky as well, which is essentially just. Um, I'm gonna put these in here for extra food. Uh, this stuff is going upstairs. But yeah, we made a uh, monster jerky, which is basically run flesh on drying racks, which is pretty cool. Why is spice leaf in there? And of course, loot from stuff that we found uh, in the in the episode. Uh, Jude really belongs in here. Yeah. 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 I think that's, yeah. I think that's good. Okay, good, good, good. Um, so I did have some more spice leaves. That's cool. But anyways, in this episode, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff. So let me take a look at my to list here. Um, yeah, we're gonna mainly, be, mainly we're gonna build the smeltery today and smelt some ores. Um, yeah, that's gonna be cool because that means we can actually get double of what we would normally get if we were to smelt an ore in the furnace, if I remember correctly. Um, we also gotta take a look at quests and a different storage thing, because yeah, sounds this is getting a bit yeah, I need more storage. <laughs> so we also gotta be taking a look at that. For the storage, I think I like these from actually editions as well. I don't know if we have anything else in former in terms of chest that is just as good um i don't know i don't know if any of these chests are like super good uh we have the iron chest mod so i mean that's a thing but i don't think they're really as good as like the other thing we also have the the mod drawers in here i believe yes we do but i think i've got to go with the um with these uh right here they are a bit expensive though. Wood, uh, wood casing is oh wait, uh, yeah, 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 what's going on? Wood casing is basically planks and okay, how much wood do I have? Ooh, good, 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 good. Uh, let's go and chop a few trees, shall we? Oh wait, there we go. Eh. Let's go chop a few trees and let's make some better storage. Ooh, it's turning nighttime. Uh, yeah, let's make some better storage and let us get going then. Oh dear, <laughs> a little bit of chubby chop. All right, gonna vein mine all these trees and then replant them, of course, like so. Boom, 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 and boom. Also, we can press F7 and this area seems okay, except maybe in here. Uh, can we place like a torch maybe right here in the corner and another one over here. By the way, um, we have some keys and I'm not sure, um, I'm not sure which like keys this thing takes. It's a compressor chest and I cannot, uh, what key is that? I think that's a ruby key. I believe I can mine this and bring it in my house. If I can, that would be great. Um, doesn't seem like I can break it though. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, that good. That, that went, uh, reality epic, max locks four, inventory size 52. There must be some good stuff in that chest. All right. Um, look at the sky. It's so beautiful. All right, let's get indoors. Let us sleep. And I do, yeah, let's take a look at the quests actually. Let's take a look at the quests real quick. Uh, boom, get that in here. All right, um, let's take a look at the quests. 
because we did some stuff. We did the backpack reward, so that's cool. Um, piggy backpack. What's that? Right click mobs to pick them up. Okay. Chance cube. I'm not. Uh, nope. Mm -mm. I'm, nope. 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 Not doing that. Not doing that. I did that. I will do this, but like, I'm. I'm not getting. I'm not getting that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not using it. I'm getting it, but I'm not using it. Um, inventory full of junk. I got you. Yeah, we're gonna probably make that sandwich station. I need to... I need to take a look at some more of these. But we got some exploration stuff in here, I think. Uh, we got the wood key, so that is some reward right there. Um, and we did some stuff in magic, I believe. Oh, yeah, we got the lexicon of Batania, I think. Inverted... What? Wood. Pick up a living entity and mount it on your head. Okay. I'm just gonna put that in there. And I believe we did more quests than this, but apparently not. Um, I feel like it is important for us to keep an eye on quests as well, because... Yeah, of the way it works. Like, I'm pretty sure if, like, we take... Introduction... Let me find it. If we were to take like a immersive engineering and we didn't do the quests and we uh, went and did some of this stuff, I don't know if you could click to like detect it or not. But anyways, if we do a project, better keep an eye on it just in case. Um, I don't know if that is how it works, where you then have to redo it if you don't take the quest. But um, yeah, thing to keep in mind. Also, I know what that portal is, but I want to see it up close. <laughs> I know it will take you to like some weird dimension. Um, so I'm not particularly interested in getting into that dimension. But um, it was right here, wasn't it? That's just a normal skeleton. Not that interested in you. Where was it? It was right here. Oh well, guess not. Okay, uh, so that was the quest, I guess. So, yeah, let's make the storage stuff. Uh, still don't have that much wood, huh? I don't know how many of these I will be able to make. But, like, I can make a few of these. So, like, I believe one is, like, equal to, like, two. Ah. Let's, put, let's start with making one. And then let's see how we do from there. So we need... Uh, Four chests. Okay, that's a cool recipe. That's a very cool recipe. And then we can make one of these and place it down. And Okay, yeah, that's big. Um, that's actually really big. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me think how I'm going to do this. I think I'm basically going to replace my current chests with these. Because, yeah, I think that's going to be the best not my shield so I'm basically just gonna chub it down and get that organize it and yeah there we go that is a lot of storage gotta get one for this as well I think so we need one two three then four and five so we need five more so I need five one two three four five then I need five then I need five of these. Uh, yeah. Five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And then I need this. Five. Boom. Okay. Now I just gotta replace all of these chests with these things. And I uh, hope I don't lose anything in the progress. In the process. Let me... Uh, I keep taking my shield. Uh, do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Boom. Good. And let me, let me, oh, wait. Give me that. Let me do this and I'll be right back. All right. I think I got everything. Uh, dry rack, I believe I want. Pink balloon. Right click to throw, right click the balloon to, okay, that's cool. Let me get that in there. Scroll of identification, that weird thing too. Task screen, that, that, and, and well, that, 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 nope. Give me the keys, I think, and organize it. 
and get that in there and get these in here. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, also get this thing in here. Sweet. Okay, good. That was the storage. Now, uh, there were... Wait, what do we have here? Uh, cool. Storage crate. Wait, what? What's that? Uh, what's this? Storage crate keeper. Uh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Uh, you're gonna go in there. <laughs> That's gonna go in there. Um, I want to see if there is some sort of like uh, emergency items removes radiation. I should be able to get that in 50 seconds? I'm gonna wait 50 seconds and see if I can claim this. Because I believe the the mana fatigue and the weakness that I have is due to radiation because I spent some time in the nuclear wasteland. And I believe this might help me. Um, so yeah, let me wait 30 seconds. All right, what's gonna happen now? Ooh. Okay, so I suppose Post is something I use, and it goes away. Cool. So that was in quests and then emergency items, and I have to wait another minute in order to get another one. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, sweet. And we can actually get a few more quests done pretty easily. We did that. Uh, I should have seen this quest. I could have taken some of those mushrooms with me. Um, and I've gotten the anti-radiation strong box. <laughs> Man, that could have helped me in that situation if I had known that before. Time in a bottle. I don't, I, I can't make that. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a look at some of those quests off camera. Anyways, let's get to making the smeltery. Uh, smeltery. So what we're gonna need are these seared bricks right here. So to make the seared bricks, we need grout. I'm grout. And for that we need uh, gravel, and we need um, sand, and we need clay. And in that live screen, we took, uh, we got gray, we got gravel, we got gray, we got gravel, we got we got sand, and we got clay. So I should be able to make quite a bit of this um, grout stuff. That's like two stacks, and. One thing equals one brick. So this is essentially 32. I think I'm gonna need all of it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need all of it, if that is even gonna be like enough, like I'm hoping it's gonna be, but I don't know. Um, because we will need some seared bricks and with those we'll need some smeltery controller, seared tank, um, casting bin, casting table, and some stuff like that. So I'm actually gonna need like another furnace. Can I make like a power furnace? Is there any way of making like a no? It's not. Is it furnace control? What? That sounds cool. Um, I'm gonna make a couple of furnaces because we're gonna make quite a bit of this. So whoop! There we go. I already have one down there. I'm gonna need some coal. I'm gonna turn this into tiny pieces of coal. I like that more than the other coal, uh, just because. And I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put them right here. Gonna do that, you're gonna smell that, and you are gonna do that. I might even make more furnaces to speed this up, because I wanna get this going. Let me make three more. I can get plenty of cobblestone. I'm good on that. <laughs> Uh, get boom boom and a boom and give me like half of you, give me half of you, give me half of you, get in there, get in there, get in there. All right, so while that is cooking, uh, first off, let's be careful of any uninvited guests around here. Please, I'm good. Okay, cool. Uh, I basically want to clear this area out a little bit. Um, I don't know if we're gonna hit the cave actually. I hope not, but I, my vision is to have the smeltery right here, so let's get to it, shall we? Uh, don't need those coal pieces. Can we actually make torches with those? We can make tiny torches, that's cool. All right, well, let's get rid of some of these trees here that we don't want. 
I think these two should be good. Also, this thing is gonna explode um, if you open it. I don't know if there is like a trap under it. I'm not too happy to find out. Like, I'd love the chest. But I don't wanna blow this up. And it's pretty close to base, ain't it? I'm not too happy about that. So I think I'm just gonna leave that alone. Now, the way I'm gonna make this smeltery um, is gonna be in a 3x3. Three three. So, we're gonna get rid of this. Actually, this has Fortune 3. Yeah, I'm gonna make a normal iron shovel because I don't want that fortune running down. Uh, because that's actually a pretty good shovel. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get an iron ingot and make a shovel real quick because I don't want that durability going down because it's actually pretty good especially for mining like um, well if you need flint I suppose I don't know if it has an impact on clay actually but anyways moving on so I think just by mining a little bit of this also I don't know how big this explosion will be so I don't really want to risk it with the house so close Oh, the cave is actually pretty close. Speaking of close, let's see if this is gonna work or not. Uh, let me let me try and dig this out, and I'll be right back uh, once I have this stuff dug out. I'll be right back. I'm thinking this is pretty good. Maybe if I can push this back a little bit, might be good. But I think this area is gonna be okay for our needs here. Um. Then we can stand here and do stuff and it's raining. Cool. Uh, let's cover that up and let me get that wood before someone <laughs> complains. And let's get down. All right, let's get to those bricks. I'm just gonna convert that one. Need some more wood anyway. Uh, lava, I'm hoping uh, this uh, thing is gonna run on lava pretty much and I hope but we have, yes, we have plenty of lava here, so that is good. Um, yeah, that is good. That means we can get our fuel right next door. Um, unfortunately, that thing will not fill back up, but uh, we can do that later down the road. 24, 24, 26, 27, 24, and 27. Sweet. So, first, I think we can just do that. Yes, okay, so what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a seer tank. Oh, glass. I don't have glass, do I? I do not have glass, and I just used up all of my sand, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I did. I did. Uh, looks like I'm going to need to go and fetch some sand. You know, I don't like taking it from here close to where I live. Also, it is incredibly dark down here and very creepy. I don't need that much, so I just need like, I'm gonna take like eight in total. I think eight in total should be good. So I'm gonna take this and like, it's incredibly dark down here. It is creepily dark. <laughs> it's creepy dark. Uh, get that. All right, let me get this sand smelted up as well. What's this? Is it called lime flower? from Batania. It looks cool. Get the dirt. I love the rain sound though. I'm pretty sure that's not from vanilla Minecraft. All right, sweet. Uh, did they get done? All of them? Did we really get all of them? Wow. That was, um, wait, did I just, I think I just got the seat break by shift punching the furnace. That's cool. Well then, um, <laughs> I get so distracted. I'm sorry. Uh, can I? Yeah, you can. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, uh, what we're gonna need is a seared drain. I'm gonna take... Uh, this is basically how we're gonna extract from the smeltery. I'm thinking one, two, three? I'm thinking three should do the trick. And I'm gonna make like three of those. We need those, and then I need... I think it's actually better to do that. Yes, because now we get the casting table. Then I want the casting B. 
bin. Need two of those. And I need to look up uh, ingot. I need to look up ingot cast. Uh, can I make a cast? How do I make an ingot? Uh, how do I make this cast? Can I make it like out of wood or something? Okay, I think I know how to do that. That's fine. Smeltery. That'll make sense in a bit. Sorry. Uh, we need a smeltery controller. And then we need... Let's see, a tank. Retains, retains liquid when broken. Oh, we could have made one of these as well. Huh. I mean... That does look pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make that. All right, uh, and then what we basically need is a bunch of these seared bricks. Uh, so we're gonna need, for a fact I know we need nine. Yeah, we're gonna need all of them. We're gonna need all, oh, it's, it's dark out, okay. Sleepy time, let's sleep and let's make this thing and then we can get to smelting all of our ores here. So that is really gonna be cool. That's gonna be really cool. Sweet. Good morning, world. All right. Uh, first off, we need to dig a small three by three area. I think right here. I think right here. Should it be a little bit more to the right? I feel it should be a little more to the left, actually. Then maybe one back. I don't know. Maybe one more back. Uh, yeah, I think. I think that's gonna be good. I think that's gonna be good. Good enough for now. Uh, then we need to place these like so. Then we need to place this here. And I want the smeltery controller right there, I think. Or do I want it here? I think I actually want it here. Because then I will have this stuff here like so. Then we're gonna have to see it drains here. I mean, I could put these down in the ground and actually, that's eh, fine, this is fine. Then we need to put this around. Am I even gonna have enough? I think I'm literally just gonna have enough. I think I'm gonna then put the sort of gauge here. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that in that case. Yeah, that's gonna look okay. I'm gonna get some more seared bricks and I think I'm gonna get, um, I think that should be that. Yep, that is that. Uh, we have capacity for 144 ingots and that's pretty cool. And I don't know about the lava, no fuel found, of course. Uh, how did I get you in my inventory? <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh yeah, we need to place the faucets as well. Those are needed over here. Cool. Let's get, do I have a bucket on me? Do I have a bucket? Do I have a bucket? I do have a bucket. Sweet. Cool. Let me put some stuff away. And then let's grab all of our ores that we need smelted. And like so. Let me get rid of the glass. Don't need it right now. We got iron ore, aluminum ore, tin ore, and copper ore. Now one thing that is a bit annoying with this um, with this smeltery is that if you combine some as uh, some ingots or materials when you combine them in the smeltery it becomes something else so you kind of want to be a bit careful of what you put in here let's see it's right click right yes so we got fuel now we should be able to just boom oh wait Wait, eh, get that in there. Uh, capacity, okay, so we can't have more in here. We would, if we if we placed, or if we raised this up one block more, we would get nine more spaces here. So I'm a bit sad that I don't have more sand on me, but uh, this is pretty much what I got. Now, I would really love to make a, like a, Furnace controller was it? Like a furnace controller? What's that called that? Furnace controller. But I again I don't have um I don't have what it takes to make that. 
But here it looks like blood, <laughs> it's not. It is actually um, molten iron. And as you saw, we put um, nine ingots and then nine ingots up here. So in total, 18 ingots, uh, which would have turned into two blocks of iron, but we have four blocks of iron. So that is why I'm making this smeltery. I can pretty much get double. And then we can just right click these. They're gonna fill up, then they're gonna harden. And then, well, that's iron blocks, pretty much. Um, and the reason why I wanted this is because I wanted to make a, well, I don't know if I can make a cast. I don't know if I can make a cast. Um, I, need a, I need an ingot cast. I'm not sure if I can make it. Molten gold, molten brass, uh, molten aluminum brass, uh, molten gold. I don't know if I have gold. That's for one. Then molten brass. The way to get brass is, well, how do you get it? Does it say the combination? It does not say the combination here. Uh, wait, here. Alloy, uh, molten zinc and copper. Do I have gold? Do I have any gold? I do actually. One ingot. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that, I think. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, well, get these out first. Yep, cool. I'm gonna put, turn one of these into this and then I'm gonna put an ingot here. I think it's gonna disappear. Did that make a sound? Nope, okay. Then after I have gotten this iron out of here, I'm going to smelt some gold because I'm not sure if the gold and iron is going to, well, let's find out. Let's find out if it's gonna mix or not. Um, that is still hardening. I'm a little bit scared that it will. I don't know if there is a way to see if it will um, if it will collide. So also there's a way you need to organize it once you do have multiple layers of stuff in here. It did not mix. Okay, cool. So now I can make this one the bottom one, and I think, yep, that's gonna be the. Are you kidding me? I need one more. I need another gold uh, ingot here. All right, another ingot to make this ingot cast. It's not. It's just gonna be nice if we have an uneven amount of ore and we can't turn it all into blocks, and we will need to turn it into ingots. So that is why I am making this um, ingot cast here. As soon as it's done, we put it to the bottom, boom. And we can pretty much take the rest out as blocks and boom, there we go, ingot cast. And now if we have an uneven amount of um, stuff here, then we can pretty much turn it just into ingots instead of blocks. So that is really cool. That is what I want done today. Um, so I can remove that from my to-do list. And yeah, that is pretty cool, actually. I don't think there is like any Tinker's Construct stuff in here. At least I don't feel like I've seen any. Well, there is here, actually. There is some here. Oh, yeah, there is here. There is actually here. Sandwich station. What on earth would I need a sandwich station for? Let me try and make it. Um, let me try and make it and see if I can actually get those quests because I have done some of them. And that is something that I'm actually going to uh, to need. I am going to need, um, I'm gonna need a tool station, armor, uh, not as much armor forge, but tool forge. And yeah, I'm gonna need all of these. So let's make those real quick. I'm uh, gonna make a sandwich station. <laughs> not sure what I need that for, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it real quickly. Uh, apparently I needed a button, so that's that's fine. Uh, gonna make a sandwich table, then we're gonna unlock you, you reward, animal backpack, steel leaf he helm, what? Huh? Okay, that's, that's cool. Uh, don't want the button. Okay, what is next? Then I need, go into the quests, need tool station, pattern chest, I need a pattern, and okay, need to do that in here. Uh, station, I should be able to. Armor station, I need pattern. First of all, I need those. Then I need a tool station. I need another crafting table. Gonna need a few of those, I think. Uh, gonna need that. 
gonna need this that's the tool station then i need a pattern uh pattern chest right here pen test i need a chest I don't have a chest up there. I'm pretty sure I have a chest, but whatever. Make a pen chest. This, all of this stuff is like used for making your custom tools, which we will probably end up doing um, eventually at some point. Just not right now. Uh, stencil table. I need a stencil table. Right. I need a stencil table. Stencil table. Can I make that? I made two. My bad. Shift clicking. Uh, Excuse me, I made one of those. Uh, pot builder, I need a lock for that one. Let me finish these up and I'll be right back. It seems like it wants the oak stencil table and not the spruce stencil table. That's what it seems like because now it says quest completed. So now we can get that and random loot. Electrical steel ingot. I can imagine that being useful for something. Uh, now we want the tool for that is four iron blocks. Uh, more seared brick. More seared brick. I really want to see if we can get the quest for these. All right, I'm temporarily, for now at least, going to just place these right here um, for making tools later. We'll need it later. I'm gonna put the rest of the iron in there. Okay, that's just that's just a squid and I'm gonna get some gravel sand and stuff to make the last of the seared stuff that I need all right I got the stuff that I need hopefully this seared stone is qualified yep didn't really want to use four iron blocks for that um, of which by the way as you can see we have now eight ingots in here so what I'm gonna do is just I'm just gonna smelt an ingot and then make it into a block that's gonna be easier didn't really want to make this, but uh, maybe we'll use it in the future anyway. So, had to be done. Um, well, not really, but... Well, we have it now. Dusk Flame. Um. Whoa. Eh. 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 Ah. Eh. 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 Don't play with fire. Eh. Uh, okay. Uh, charge and launch dark fireballs. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> oh dear me. Um, okay, I do want to wrap up this episode because it is getting pretty lengthy. Um, now finally, can we... Uh, that's annoying. It can't detect that you already have made this, so now I need to basically remake everything that I essentially now don't need. Because now I have it all. That's annoying. That's really annoying. That's super annoying. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. But I guess, um, I guess that's just that. I guess that's how that is. Anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap this episode up right here. Um, yeah, that's a little bit annoying with the quest, but I guess I'll do that off camera. Um, and then I guess we can, I guess we can, since if we take a look here, right? If we take a look here, on the positive side, I need 32 of those hit breaks and all of this stuff. And I can expand this current smeltery um, with those blocks and get an even bigger smeltery, all right? So it's not too big of a deal all right so i'll probably do that off camera and uh yeah that's gonna be it for this episode and for what what and for what we're going to be doing in the next episode uh i'm not quite sure yet <laughs> i'm not quite sure yet um oh dear okay it froze for a moment i'm not quite sure yet i kind of want to get into industry so maybe we'll do something with that um maybe i'll pick an industry path to go on um but really, industry is going to start over by the new base right here, new base location with this oil stuff. So I just don't know if we're ready for that. I feel like I need to do some more resource gathering. So maybe I'll do that off camera too. Or should I make a video of just resource gathering, mining, stuff like that? Let me know down in the comments below. Currently at the making of this, 
um, the exploration video isn't even out yet. So yeah, but let let me know down in the comments uh, below. Should I make a make a mining episode where we just go down, do some branch mining and stuff like that? Let me know. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this one, and I'll figure out what to do in the next episode. Don't worry, I'll do some off-camera work and uh, planning. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Sorry for the long longness of this video, <laughs> but yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. One thing we could think naughty